What's going on, Tenno out there in the Origin system? It's your boy, livening your face again, and I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys some of my progress and tips on the Steel Path. Now, as you can see, I've gotten pretty far in. I've gotten some of the more nasty planets already done, such as Lua, the Derelict, and the Kuva Fortress. How did I get this done? I'm gonna be happy to show you guys that during this helpful video, including tips, as far as warframes, weapons, and all of the like. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Now, in these builds, some ribbons are used and some are not. Uh, but this is mostly to generally tell you what weapons are good enough and what warframes are good enough so that you can head into the trade chat and buy ribbons or buy any kind of mods that you may need for this adventure. So uh, I want you guys to be as prepared as possible. To start off, uh, I use Excal on most normal missions such as exterminates, captures, you know, interceptions. But one of the most important mods that I think you should have in any of your builds is going to be preparation. Now given the fact that you have cooldowns on health and energy, this mod really takes you pretty far. As you can see through all the rest of my builds, I have one that is uh, focused on strength for him, and another one that's focused more on giving him more armor, and helping out the squad with armor as well. As you can see, I have Stand United here programmed into the build. For now, I won't be talking about Warframes just yet, but have a look here at some of my weapons that I use most commonly. Corinth Prime is one of my first and foremost selections. Because of the air burst, it does quite a lot of damage and packs a punch. Your primary fire is going to be a good as well. But these builds should get you started using the weapon if you're not that experienced using it. And the regular version of this weapon should pack a punch as well. Over here on the next screen, I will go ahead and show you some other weapons that I used in my Steel Path Adventures, and I also recommend the Kuva Chakra. Let's go ahead and move on to pistols. I don't really have that many, but my critical build for the Axiomati Prime should serve your purposes. I recommend trying to get a ribbon that includes critical chance upon it, and I recommend building it for viral damage. Now this build right here doesn't look like much, but it really tears through level 130s and even higher than that during your Steel Path adventure. Highly recommended pistol here. Let's go ahead and move on to my second option, which is going to be the Euphona Prime. I use this in more concentrated missions, Sussex exterminates, captures, and that sort of thing. But this thing will definitely carry you on through uh, some of the more tougher enemies in the Steel Path if you've got a good ribbon for it, as you see here. Moving on to melee weapons, I have many, but my Dual Commas Prime have served me well even before this update and have not failed one drop since the Steel Path has come out. Uh, I have several different builds with them, uh, created for the Grenier, multi-purpose enemies, and a magnetic setup that is made for Corpus that you'll see on this next screen. Magnetic and Heat, which really is quite effective against that enemy type. And uh, like I said, you can't really go wrong with a pair of commas. But if you don't really have those, I have a Nami Scholar Prime build as well that I can show you over here on this next screen. And uh, that's definitely going to get the job done for you. I have other melees that I use, such as the Nakana Prime, a Miwan Zol, uh, a couple of other ones like the Telos Boltes that you're going to see right over here. Have a good look at that build as well. Um, the Oma... The Pangolin Prime, you're going to see that a little bit later on in this video, but uh, I use a variety of melees to get the job done in the Steel Path, and it's mostly what I'll rely on for a lot of my journey. Sigma Noctantis is another great option here, as you'll see with this build, it's quite excellent. If you can optimize this with a Riven, I absolutely recommend it. And you'll go ahead and see another primary that I use a lot, which is the Kuva Ogris, with a couple of different builds that I can show you as well.
Featured here now is my Saren Prime build that I use a lot in interception defenses and also in high level missions such as disruption. Shown here also is another go-to frame that I have, Protea, released just before Steel Path, and these are a few builds that I have here that cover range of multi-purpose build and also one that is made to give power strength. Here are some great strategies that I found that really worked out uh, during my journeys across the Steel Path, especially in the Derelict, Chroma will definitely be one of your best bets. Now see, I have so much more that I wanted to cover for you guys in this video, but I really wanted to make it short. So if you guys have any other ideas, or if you want to ask me any other questions about my builds, uh, go ahead and leave some of that stuff down there in the comment section for me. I'll be more than happy to answer that stuff for you guys. And uh, you can also share with me some of the tips that you've used to progress through the steel path as well. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.